Mass Effect, t take two, because hopefully the camera's focused this time. Hi guys, it's going to be just kind of a short video today. Uh, this week wound up being really busy for me, which is a good thing, and it means I'm going to have some things to, to show you soon I can't, I can't quite talk about yet. Uh, but it meant I, was, I didn't have a lot of time working on video this week. So this week it's, it's going to be a, a, a pretty low effort fast video. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but honestly I wanted to make this video for a while. Today we're going to be talking about a series that I, I think you all probably love, and I was pretty late to, and, and that series is Mass Effect. That's why I got there with this little spaceship. Growing up, uh, I was mostly a Nintendo and like Sega uh, household. Um, we didn't get a PlayStation until I was like in high school, uh, so it was kind of late to those. Uh, but we never really had an Xbox, uh, so Mass Effect I just kind of missed out on. And then I moved out to New York, and I, and I was living with uh, with Colby. And between me and Colby, we've we've got like every game imaginable. And I, pl I played through Mass Effect uh, a couple years ago. Thought it was cool. Was it wasn't entirely pulled in. I uh, always wanted to start the next ones, but I, I just I, I never felt like I had the time to just commit to one of those games uh, all the way through without having to t take a big pause or anything. And, and I didn't want to do that because I felt like these games kind of needed to be experienced like all at once. Uh, and then w one week last summer, I, I got really sick and I lost my voice. I, I could not speak at all. Imagine a world. And so what I did with that week was I, I just played straight through Mass Effect two and three. I gotta say, like like like, like as a series, just. Mm. Like, like, like in the in the in the Undertale video, I mentioned it because uh, I genuinely do think that it's some of the best writing that we've had uh, in video games recently, or at all. I guess it's not like the NES era was was known for stellar writing. Really quick, general feelings about the series, because I know people are going to be uh, wondering about that. Mass Effect One, fun game. Uh, some issues with the gameplay, uh, kind of repetitive. Some things just didn't quite work right. Uh, but the story and the choices were engaging and interesting, uh, and so I, I, I played it all the way through. I'd say it's probably the weakest in the trilogy just because they were ironing a lot of stuff out. Mass Effect 2? Incredible. The writing was just phenomenal. A lot of the gameplay things were kind of smoothed over, uh, but just the, the way the characters were fleshed out was just glorious. And that finale, it's just, it's so good. It's just such a good game. I think that I think that, that I think Mass Effect 2 is like single-handedly responsible for why this series is some of the best writing in gaming. Mass Effect 3, I thought was a bit of a step down from 2. Uh, it did a lot of things that were kind of like, okay, well, this is just kind of a, a, a cliched plot device for convenience. Uh, most of the good moments that Mass Effect 3 had story-wise were kind of built off of what 2 had put in place. Uh, those characters that have been developed and everything, uh, having big moments. I honestly wasn't a huge fan of the changes to the combat that they made in 3. I liked 2's combat the most. I know I'm alone in that. A lot of people think that 3 had the best gameplay, and, and I can understand why. Uh, I just personally liked the flow of 2's more. But anyway, the reason I really wanted to talk about Mass Effect was I wanted to talk about Mass Effect 3 specifically, and something they did that really disappointed me. Uh, and it's not the ending. I know everybody complains about the ending. It's not for... Okay, so for those of you who don't no, which is probably 0.02% of my audience. Uh, Mass Effect is a series that is built entirely on choice. That's, that's the whole, it's, it's the whole point of like the title of the series. Like Mass Effect is a science thing that they do, but hey, it's, it's also like a little allegory for your actions ha have, a, have a mass effect on the universe. It's, it's cool. A lot of people were upset with the uh, conclusion of the trilogy with the ending of three because they felt like it threw all your choices away and it didn't really matter. They patched it later and changed the ending. I still don't think it's very good. It's just not that well written, I don't think. I think it's kind of cliched and breaks the bit of believability that I had in the series. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I want to talk about is DLC. The entire series had DLC, and for the most part, it's done really well. Uh, the first Mass Effect had some issues with the implementation of it. Uh, for example, uh, the fact that I, I got the DLC after I beat the game, and I was like, yeah, I'll just go back on my save file and play it. And it turns out I was past the lockout point for being able to do the DLC on that file. So that was obnoxious. They didn't have that issue with later games, so that's cool. Mass Effect 2 did a cool thing where uh, DLC like added some more characters, and they were nice additions to the cast. Mass Effect 3 kind of did the same thing, except they made one really huge misstep that really kind of soured a lot of the experience for me. And that was Jobbik. 
Javik is a Prothean. For those of you who aren't familiar with the series, uh, the Prothean are like this ancient race of aliens who like created all this technology that they're using and are like responsible for the galaxy and uh, all the different races in it uh, being able to find and communicate with each other and actually have this advanced uh, society. And uh, the Protheans have gone extinct. But in 3, uh, as a pre-order bonus, they had a Prothean that you could get as part of your crew. They have this mission where you, you, you go and you find a Prothean that is still alive. And he's like, well, he's preserved. I don't have an issue with like there being a Prothean that survives, like as part of the lore. The cat wants in. Hang on a second. On the contrary, I think it's a really cool development to actually have a Prothean around. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you could do with that, because Protheans... They, they spend the whole series talking about them. This is their technology. They're constantly wondering what happened to them. They're wondering if they would have the key to defeating the Reapers. Stuff like that. Like, the Protheans are a huge deal. But, they sure don't act like it. The main issue is that because he's DLC, he can't be crucial to the story. Because there are players who aren't going to have him. So what this results in is you having a really cool mission where you go to this planet and you find this Prothean and you bring him back to your ship and he joins your crew and then he just doesn't matter the rest of the game. The two best features about Mass Effect were its character development and its world building and a Prothean would add so much to both of those things and uh, he doesn't. He, he, he doesn't like at all. And it bums me out because this was like a chance to really enrich the world. You know? And before, when they had characters that would join your crew, like in Mass Effect 2, uh, they had them be, you know, humans who had a place in the universe, and so they did enrich the world, they, they gave you, like, more insight into the world, uh, but they weren't so crucial to the plot that it felt like, you know, the game would be lesser without them. I guess she's gone now. Alright, she's gonna be on the ground now, so now you can't even look at the cat. Production value has just gone through the floor. EA has this reputation for uh, being just awful when it comes to uh, unnecessary DLC and uh, ripping off consumers. Gamers in general aren't happy with EA, which I'm, sh I'm sure you know. I feel like you really start seeing that happen with Mass Effect 3, because they took this character that would have been incredible for the story, and instead of going like, oh wow, what a cool idea, how can we use this to improve the product and make this the best written, most interesting game we can make? And instead they were like, hey, what a cool idea for an additional character to the game. People are going to want this. How do we use this to increase our profits? By putting him behind a paywall. Now we are given a character that could have had a ton of potential. And instead, he adds nothing. Those are just my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. I know a lot of you have played Mass Effect because uh, I think I was the last person on Earth to, to get around to playing it. And, you know, now Andromeda's out and they, they, they push that to release early for some reason, and it wasn't ready, and it was a buggy mess, and it just, it seems like now they've had to can the whole idea of another Mass Effect trilogy because they were, uh, greedy assholes and pushed it out to release early. It's, it's just disheartening to think that this thing that was, it was a great franchise was diminished by a publisher who doesn't seem to actually care about delivering quality products as long as they're making money. And now they're making less money in the long run because now they've tarnished the name of Mass Effect. And it's not going to be this incredibly high-selling property anymore. They, they, they shot themselves in the foot and stopped themselves from making money because they wanted to make money too badly. I could see that that wasn't going to go well and was terrible business sense, and I didn't even get an actual education. I don't know. Whatever, man. It's... At least we got one good trilogy. And you know what? The, the whole, that whole original trilogy is definitely worth playing, and if you haven't done it, please find a way to do so. The games are so cheap now, and, and I feel like you owe it to yourself to at least see what's there. Here, come up here. Come up here, you cat.